Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about some common mistakes we see with the starting position of the deadlift and how we can improve these positions and different exercises we can use to strengthen those positions as we get stronger with deadlifting. The most common issue we see with the starting position of the deadlift is typically when people will retract their shoulder blades and start with a rib cage that's too extended. What this usually does is this shortens our arm and means that we have to bend more through our lumbar spine or our lower back to get to the bar. What this means is we have to produce more effort through our lower back to pick up the bar and it decreases the amount of push we have with our legs. So the first exercise we're going to do here with John is we're going to be doing a Zercher RDL. The cues that we want to be focusing for John is reaching his elbows forward while maintaining a really good clean hip hinge as he goes down into the RDL position. He's going to feel a bit of a stretch through his lats as he lets the cable take his arms and his elbows forward while he maintains a really good hinge at his hips. So as he's doing this, you should feel a bit of a stretch through the lats and also a stretch through the hamstrings as you would for a normal RDL. Here's another exercise we can do to teach that reaching position while maintaining extension through the lumbar. What John's going to do is essentially trying to get that reach through his shoulder blades and shoulders as much as he can, but he has to hold a lot of extension through his lumbar, which is exactly what we need for deadlifts. This is a really nice warm up to do pre-deadlifts. Three sets of about 20 to 30 seconds works really nicely here. After those two exercises, Joss is going to transfer the positions that he was trying to maintain or hold during the accessories into the deadlift starting position. So what this means is that he's going to be practicing the reach with his arms, trying to lengthen his arms and push his rib cage backwards whilst holding extension of his lumbar spine. This is going to help him start from a taller position and have more push through his legs as he goes through the deadlift motion. To conclude on today's video, the goal of improving our deadlift position is to get a reach with our arms, push our rib cage back and hold extension through our lumbar spine. It's really good to try and incorporate these two movements into a training program, whether that's as an accessory or as a warm up prior going into your deadlifts so that you can improve your starting position and have a bit more push through your legs. This will help your lockout and stop you from getting a sore lower back or running into injury in the future. Let us know if you have any more questions and we'll be happy to answer them in the comments.